Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. And today's video is one that I'm very excited about and is honestly long overdue. Now, I've been meaning to make this video for over a month now and originally wanted to release it in December, but ultimately decided to wait until 2020 was completely finished just in case something new did come up or we got another trailer for the Skywalker Saga, much like we did back in late 2019. Now, although nothing new happened in December, we did learn a few more things about the game in these past few weeks into the new year, so I'm briefly going to mention those towards the end of the video as well. For any new viewers that might be watching this video, welcome to the channel, and if you're interested in any news, rumors, or speculation regarding LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, and any other LEGO Star Wars related projects, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video for the YouTube algorithm. 2020 was definitely a year to remember nonetheless, and throughout most of the year, the game remained fairly silent until August, when it was announced the game was no longer releasing in the fall as we speculated, but when I'll be releasing in spring of this year. According to a new article that I covered last week, the spring 2021 release date is still confirmed, so don't believe any rumors of another delay as of now. I would say a lot of 2020 for my channel personally was spent speculating about the game since we did believe at the time it would have been released that year. After Gamescom 2020 though, the game has remained fairly silent besides a few pieces of information and minor releases from online articles or retailers. When news broke of the game's delay, I would say that it was met with mixed reactions overall, but I would hope that a majority of the fan base understands why that is the case considering it's quite an ambitious game to begin with, not considering the complete disaster that 2020 turned out to be for the workplace specifically. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, I would much rather have a finished game that was delayed instead of an unfinished game released on time, and I think a few of the recent game releases can testify for that. For those of you still wondering when we should expect our next official update on the game, I would assume sometime later this month or early February, considering LEGO games aren't usually marketed until a few months before release. I must state though that I am just another fan like yourself and don't have any insider information or specific details, but rather I'm a source for news, updates, and speculation. Throughout the rest of the video, I'm going to cover everything we learned about the game in 2020 and its release in chronological order from January to December, although some things will be mentioned briefly out of order as well. In addition, there's a chance I might miss something small or minor as well, but please don't at me in the comments, I'm only human. Okay, let's begin. The Skywalker Saga started off to a slow year of marketing as advertisements for the game began to appear with the 2020 wave of LEGO Star Wars sets in the back of the instruction booklets, and as far as I've been able to gather, the date has yet to be changed to 2021, or either the advertisement is completely missing from the new wave of 2021 sets. Other than confirmation that microtransactions wouldn't be part of this game in any way, we didn't get our next update until May 4th, which wasn't a surprise looking back now. To be honest, we could even speculate that a May 4th release of the game this year could be possible, considering it does fall on a Tuesday, a major game release day, as well as occurring within the spring season. Nonetheless, on that day, the cover art was revealed as well as a few official articles, but honestly, that was about it. We didn't get our next major update until August at Gamescom 2020, at which point we learned a majority of the stuff we know about the game as of now. There was official confirmation of a deluxe edition, an exclusive Blue Milk Luke Skywalker minifigure, six DLC character packs, one of which we received official artwork for, and finally the third trailer for the game, which confirmed voice acting as the main method of dialogue instead of the classic Lego mumbling from previous games. Since August, we haven't gotten another official update, but we did receive some more screenshots, information on the DLCs, pre-order bonuses, as well as information on gameplay itself. More recently, within the past few weeks or so, we have confirmation that there will be close to 800 characters included in the game, which is honestly just 
insane to think about, although only 300 will be actually playable. Now, this also does include 23 planets with 28 unique locations. Space travel and free roam will be a core aspect of this game, but so far we don't know a whole lot of information about the free roam slash story mode progression system, although there will be over 900 kyber bricks to collect, so no shortage of collectibles in this game for sure. To the best of my knowledge, Kyber Bricks will be used to upgrade vehicles such as the Millennium Falcon, and another interesting thing to note is that the display area, including the health bar and minimap, have been entirely redone for this game. That also includes the shooting system, as players will now be able to aim down their sights during heated battles, giving the experience of a more traditional shooter game, or quite possibly uh, Battlefront 2. This also seems to be a modified version of what we got from the Force Awakens game from 2016, which had amazing graphics despite the repetitive nature of the game, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what TT Games has in store for the Skywalker Saga, and how much the controls are actually going to be improved or modified based on previous LEGO games. Now, there's definitely a lot more information about the game than what I've covered in this video, but this is mainly what we learned from 2020. Now, very briefly, I'm going to dive a little deeper into the six DLC character packs, as well as any pre-order bonuses and unlockable character codes that we did learn about this past year. So far, the six DLC character collection packs will include two from The Mandalorian, so I'm assuming one from Season 1 and one from Season 2, Rogue One, Solo, Classic Characters, and finally one from the Bad Batch series, supposedly releasing this spring as well. Now, there's always the possibility for more DLC and expandable content in the future, but nothing else has been announced for the time being. It also seems as if these are just extra characters for the game, and that no new planets or missions will be included through these DLCs, but once again, this is all we know as of now. In terms of pre-order bonuses, there's really nothing that substantial or great so far in my opinion, so I actually haven't pre-ordered anything. Uh, surrounding the game as of now, but if you're curious, EB Games or GameStop is giving away a Poe Dameron's Polybag from Episode 9. Best Buy probably has the best bonus so far in my opinion, a Han Solo Frozen and Carbonite Steelbook, a Snowspeeder Polybag from the UK toy shop Smiths, and finally a Darth Vader keychain and case from WB Games directly in the UK. To make a note, you should be able to get the pre-order bonus no matter what copy of the game you buy, whether that be standard or deluxe, but be sure to check with the retailer you're purchasing from on their specific details. Also, if you want to help support the channel, there'll be links to each copy of the game from Amazon down below in the description, where I may earn a small commission on each sale. Honestly, they're also typically 20% off on Amazon anyway, which is kind of crazy considering the game hasn't even been released yet. Finally, as of now, there are five codes that will unlock certain characters or vehicles within the game, and once again, here are the necessary codes, and once more, these are standard universal codes, so don't worry about it. Sidious for Emperor Palpatine, Life Day for the Snow Gonk Droid, Rasher for Holiday Vader, both of those being from the LEGO Star Wars Holiday Special, just released a couple months ago, Arvala 7 for the Razor Crest RIP, and Shuttle for the Resistance ITS Transport from Galaxy's Edge. Now, in retrospect, and in general, you could argue that the Skywalker Saga was probably announced too early and built up way too much hype since announced in the summer of 2019, and since then, the relativity of the game has dropped significantly, in my opinion. I don't think this is a bad thing, and some of you might disagree with me, but I think the vast expansiveness of this game was slightly underestimated, and that might have caused further delays in the game's development beyond the global situation, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with what I've seen about the game so far. It's definitely going to be new, it's going to be different from the complete saga, but at the end of the day, it's still going to be a LEGO game at heart, and quite possibly one of the best Star Wars games to ever be released in general. We know this game will be massive, but how big the planets and locations will be is still mainly unknown, but I don't doubt that TT Games will end up delivering us a masterpiece of a game in the end. For those of you who are still here and got through the full video, hello there, and thanks for watching everyone. 
All in all, 2020 was the beginning of this channel, and I enjoyed making the Skywalker Saga videos and hopefully sparking some sort of discussion when news and updates were far and few between. I'm really looking forward to covering this game in the future, especially upon release, so please consider subscribing to the channel once more if you haven't done so already. Thanks again for watching everyone, and I hope you all have a great day.